in the state of Texas. The debate began here in 1901. And by 1914, uh, North Texas Normal College was debating other Texas colleges in a number of different bouts that they had. In 1948, the University of North Texas won the second held national debate tournament. It was the first time that colleges has gotten together to talk about national debate topics. In uh, both 2004 and 2009, we were again in the top nine of those debate teams at that national debate competition. We had the top speaker in 2009 for the national debate tournament. And in 2011, we were the, the national junior varsity division title champions. So we've got a great, wonderful debate team here. We're trying something today that's never been tried here at North Texas before. In fact, it's never been tried at any university before. Typically, we invite our guests in to experience one public debate on a single topic on a single, de on a single day. Today, we've combined a number of different topics with a number of different debates. So we actually have 16 different debates on a variety of topics for anybody's pleasure that they want to visit. And I encourage you to try and check out multiple of these debates. Don't visit just one. I encourage you to visit many of them. They'll be taking place today in this room in 176, in 166, and in 355. We had so many debates, we couldn't even get them on the first floor of the Sage Hall. So we have another debate in room 355 as well. I know there are a lot of people here who support the debaters, and I encourage them to continue doing that. We do have a schedule. There are some in the back, and there are, of course, some online if you have a chance to check. We're basically going to try and debate, have a debate at 8.30, a debate at 9.30, a debate at 10.30, and a debate at 11.30, really fostering an incredible amount of public discussion. And in that vein of public discussion, I would note that the University of North Texas also has an incredible stance in a number of political decisions and political topics that we have uh, had it out. We have a number of uh, political debates that happen here on campus, and a number of uh, wonderful representatives and politicians have come from the University of North Texas. And we are honored today to have a wonderful North Texas alumnus here with us. Would you please join me in welcoming Congressman Dr. Michael Burgess. <laughs> Day for the next day's debates. 
So I was watching, you know Barney Frank, you have you ever heard of Barney Frank? I mean, remember Congress from Massachusetts been out there since you were in school the first time. I mean, he's been there a long time. He announced his retirement this week, so big news. And Rachel had sort of a retrospective on Barney Frank's long and, and studied career. Uh, and it was, uh, I told him later, it was like watching someone you who hadn't died. Uh, but one of the clips was Barney sitting up there in speaker's chair in the House of Representatives, and he was running the debate. And apparently I was uh, on the Republican side at the Republican table, and there was someone else on the Democratic side. There had been one of the Republican members, it was 2007, and we lost the majority, we were in the minority, we no longer controlled the floor. And the House was pretty frustrating to a lot of us, and one of the <coughs> members from North Carolina had been down there pestering Mr. Frank with parliamentary inquiries every time he tried to uh, move the debate along. So Barney's in the chair and he said, one more time, I'm going to recognize the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Burgess, if he can find anyone who can articulate a coherent debate on his side. So it just underscores how important it is for you to be able to do this. Um, what was yesterday? When you look at the paper yesterday, was it the day that this recession, the employment numbers were up, stock market the best week in three or four years. But was it finally the day that we turned the corner? Or was it the day that more people than ever dropped out of looking for a job and gave the employment numbers a false boost? Was it the day that the troops came home from Iraq? You see, I don't know, you see the headline this morning in, in the Dallas Morning News where the Al Fall Palace and you know, just outside of Baghdad completely blank, no men and equipment around. I've been there before when uh, when things were, 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 there was a lot more going on. Uh, but this is a big day. The last, the last American troops are leaving Baghdad with their, with their head held high. This is, a, this is a big deal. Or is it the day that Afghanistan continues to be a drain on our, on our economy, on our workforce, on young men and women who have to go over there and serve? Is it a day where the situation in Pakistan became even more dangerous because of some of the activities there? Here's the deal. It's like a Dickens novel. It's either the best of times or the worst of times. And here's the good news. You guys, you guys get to frame that discussion. Uh, long after I'm gone, the problems that have either been postponed or created by the generation of leaders that is there now, you guys are either going to get to revel in their success or clean up their mess. But the important thing is, like Mr. Frank said, if you have anyone coherently, who can articulate a coherent argument on your side, you may just win the day. So what you're doing here today is very important, Dr. Lane. Uh, kudos to you for, for bringing everyone together and, and uh, running debate of Palooza one more time. Eric Whiff is on my staff. He has brought copies of the United States Constitution. If anyone would like one, please feel free to take one. And then just one tiny commercial. Uh, <clears throat> my representational office, of course, has internship slots available. And we do have a number of UNB interns who have been through our office, both in, in uh, Louisville, Fort Worth, as well as Washington, D.C. If you're interested, on the website there is information on how to apply. The University of North Texas actually provides a very good deal for its students who would like, who would be interested in an internship. And as I understand it, you not only uh, get to go and, and witness things in the seat of power, you also get credit for that college year, which or that, that semester, which is extremely important. I never did things like that were available for us, just to be perfectly honest. But it is an opportunity to see up close and personal how things are done. And let's face it, the world today is so complex that democracy cannot be a spectator sport. You have to be willing to be involved in the fight and involved in the discussion. So thank you all for being here today. Thank you for your time and attention, Dr. Lane. Thanks for the invitation. You thought that it never go to a tailgate party unaccompanied again. <laughs> That's how I ended up in this spot this morning. Uh, but thank you for your time I appreciate it very much. Debate with zeal, debate with ethics, and debate your hearts out.